I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a trigonometric identity based on double angle. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and sharing brilliant questions. Now, these are the questions which have come in past test papers and I hope their solution will help you. We need to prove the trigonometric identity 4 times cos to the power of 6x plus sin to the power of 6x equals to 1 plus 3 cos squared 2x. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given. Now let's look into the solution of this particular question. Well, let me remind you of the double angle identities which we are going to use or apply in this proof. One of them is cos of 2 theta. Cos of 2 theta can be written in many different ways. 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square theta helps us to prove such identities. Also, you see cos to the power of 6x plus sine to the power of 6x. That means we also need to look into a cube plus b cube formula. a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. Perfect. So the left hand side can be expanded using this particular formula. Makes sense, right? So I think that should help you in uh, moving forward. So you can actually pause the video, prove it and then look into my suggestions. Here is how we are going to do it. Let's begin with the left hand side, which is 4 times cos to the power of 6x plus sine to the power of 6x. So it is 4 times so cos to the power of 6x, think like this, cos square x, whole cube, right? Plus sine to the power of 6x is sine square x, whole cube. Now we can apply this a cube plus b cube formula to factor this, right? So we have this as a square. So a cube plus b cube is a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. So a and b are cos square x and sine square x. So I'll write down cos square x plus sine square x as the first factor. And square of cos square will be cos to the power of 4x, right? minus cos square x sine square x plus sine to the power of 4x. Uh, let me make some room here, right? Okay. Plus sine to the power of 4x. So that formula was for a cube minus b cube, right? Okay. So now, as you know, cos square x plus sine square x is 1. So we can open the bracket, that becomes 1. And we have cos to the power of 4x plus sine to the power of 4x. Well, that reminds us, we could use the formula for a plus b whole square. What is a plus b whole square equals to? Well, that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we have cos square as a square, right? Cos to the power of 4x and sine to the power of 4x. So what I'll do here is rearrange. So we'll have a cos to the power of 4x and we have plus sine to the power of 4x. So I'm going to add to cos square x sine square x. Since I've added, I have to subtract also, right? So I'll subtract 2 cos square x sine square x. So adding and subtracting same term really doesn't change anything, right? 
and we already have minus cos square x sin square x. Perfect. Okay. So now you can see these three terms can be clubbed together and written as cos square x plus sin square x whole square. Makes sense, right? So a lot of manipulations being done here. Okay. So let me rewrite this as four times we have cos square x plus sin square x whole square, right? So that takes care of these three terms. And then combining the other two, we have minus three cos square x sin square x. Make sense? Perfect. Now, cos square x plus sin square x is one. So you get one, right? One square is one. So we get four times one minus three cos square x sin x. Okay. So, cos square x sin x is like, let's open the bracket and then we can actually see how we could work with it, right? Do, does it remind you of anything? Sin 2x, right? Right? Okay, great. So, uh, let's write down this as such now. Next step, cos square x sin square x. We'll do it. Let's open the bracket. So multiplying by 4, we get 4 minus. 4 times 3 is 12. And we have cos square x sine square x. Correct? Which is 4 minus. Now see, you could write this as 2 sine x cos x whole square. So that will take care of 4, right? So 3 times. Let me write this as 2 cos x sine x whole square, right? Do you see that? So when you open this, it becomes four, 2 square is 4. Cos square x sine x square, 4 times 3 is 12. Make sense? Correct? Now, what is cos x 2 sine x cos x? Well, that is sine 2x, right? So I could write this as 4 minus 3. So inside is sine 2x. So I could write this as sine square 2x. Make sense? Sine square t, 2x, right? Right, so now we have 4 minus 3 and sine square 2x can be written as 1 minus cos square 2x. Let's open this bracket. So 4 minus 3 minus and minus becomes plus 3, right? Cos square 2x. 4 minus 3 is 1 and then we have plus 3 cos squared 2x, right? So we kind of squeezed it in. Which is the same as right hand side. And so we have shown that this identity is proven, right? When left side is equal to right hand side. So you see what we did here, 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x, right? So let me write here. Sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. So in this li limited space, I just squeezed all the things in. But I hope things are absolutely clear. So as you can see, we began with the left-hand side where we utilized the formula a cube plus minus plus b cube, right? a cube plus b cube, which was a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. And then the Pythagorean identity cos square x plus sin square x is 1 and then again applied the formula for a plus b whole square and got a result as shown here. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. I'd like you to once again go through it. It's a very important question. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.